Welcome back to a new week of the educational video series with Wapolo County Conservation. Today we are actually not at one of our own sites. We are out at Ottumwa Park because, well, it's the only place we could get the great egret that you might see that little speck of white behind me over my shoulder to stay close enough that we can get some footage while you learn a little bit about it. So the great egret is in the heron group, so just like the rest of the animals in that group. They have the long neck, the long legs. If you can't tell by the perspective that we have here, that bird stands around three feet tall. Uh, the long legs help it wade out into the water where they will find their prey, which is crayfish, fish, frogs, about any animal they can fit in their mouth they'll eat. Uh, they just grab it with that long yellow bill, it's like a spear or a pair of tongs, and they swallow it whole. And then of course that long neck is going to allow them to um, spear into the water as well. So when they're flying what you're going to see is they're going to put that neck back kind of in an S position and their legs will just trail out to the back. So it gives them a nice aerodynamic um, flight pattern. These guys, even though they are such a big bird and have a four foot wingspan, they can fly at 25 miles an hour, which is pretty good for this bird. But of course they also weigh just over two pounds. So it's pretty easy to propel that through the air. We do see this bird uh, usually fall in spring. It's listed as a year round resident in Iowa but most of the time they're along the Mississippi River. Most nesting takes place on the Mississippi River between April and June. So we don't see them very often. Right now, great egrets are on their way down to the Southern United States and into Central America for the winter. When these animals are nesting along the Mississippi River, they do nest in trees. So you will see them roosting at night in the trees and their nests will be in those trees and they'll lay about three eggs but usually only one of the young survive. And this is the case with a lot of birds. The first one to hatch out is probably gonna be the strongest because they're gonna hatch about one every day. And so the older one is either gonna fight the other one and kill it, or it's just gonna fight for the food, eat all the food, and the other one's gonna die. And that happens a lot with these bigger birds. Survival of the fittest at its best. Uh, but of course, their siblings are not their only problem. Uh, you'll have owls, raccoons, and other animals that are going to be predators to the eggs and to the young. But once they're adults at this size, there's not a lot of predators that are going to be able to take them down. Humans are probably the scariest to them, which is why this one's going to keep its distance. Uh, but you can see it wading through the water um, and trying to find that food. What I really want to say though, since these guys are here, it's fall. It started this week. Uh, get outside, migrations have begun, the colors have started to change, and this is one of many birds you're gonna see uh, migrating through this time of year. Hopefully the pelicans will be here soon, the warblers have begun their migration, the monarch migration is pretty close to over. Um, so get outside and, and see this before it's over. And until next week, get out and take a hike.